Hey, Side Hustle Cruiser family. Well, it is our 10th wedding anniversary and we are taking a trip to Dubai. Travel with us on this video as we talk about the flight, the food, the cost, the experience as a whole. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Orlando Airport, and this is Terminal C, which is a brand new terminal. Parking was a breeze to find. There's a parking garage next to the terminal. The parking will cost us $168 for a seven day trip. You should know that this terminal was absolutely beautiful as it is a brand new terminal. And so they have lots of newer technology and it wasn't crowded at all. Our flight was scheduled for 7 p.m. on a Wednesday night. As you can see, the airport also had lots of food options for you as well. While I was exploring the airport, I passed by this particular lounge. And what I noticed is they had a sign that said, if you owned one of these credit cards, that you were entitled to have lounge access for free. So you know what we did. We have one of those cards and we decided to join the lounge. And this is the view from the lounge, which is up above the main ground floor of the airport terminal. And here's what it looked like when we got there. It was crowded when we got there, but the gentleman told us that give it about 20 minutes and most of these people would be leaving to get on their designated flights and that it would empty out. We enjoyed our space and our time here. There was extra seating, there was great food, there were lots of drink options. There was pasta, salads, there was a buffet area as well as a bar area if you wanted to purchase anything. And so for the most part, because we had about a three hour wait before it was time for us to fly, we enjoyed this area. And I will say that the food surprisingly was actually very, very good. We had some chicken and rice and vegetables and desserts, and it was very tasty and very good. So always be aware for those signs that may give you access to something that you don't even know that you have. There is a paid option for food as well, and that's what that menu looked like. Additionally, they had some spaces for the kids to play. It was a great time. After a few minutes, I noticed that our chariot had arrived. Yep, it was just about boarding time. One of the things that's different about Emirates Airlines is after they board people in first class, the seniors, and the people with young children, they board in their seating area from the back of the plane first. So if your seat is in the back, fear not. Don't worry, you get to board first. The flight attendants were amazing. As you can see, they had lots of personality. They were very helpful and they worked their butts off. What a great, great staff. Now let's talk about these business class seats. Unfortunately, I took this video as we were getting off the plane, so it's a little messy, but look at the comfort level in business class. The seating is set up in two, three, and then another two on the other side. And this is what the economy seats like in the back. This is set up in a three, four, three configuration until you get to the last five rows of the plane where it is two, four, and two. And fortunately, we were seated in a two capacity in economy with no one between us. Here's the screen for the interactive entertainment system. It was a very nice area, nice size, um, lots of great options for you to watch movies and videos. You use the remote control for access to that. And there were lots of plug options for you to use as well for charging your devices. And again, the remote control was very interactive, very simple to use to play video game. Everything that you needed to do was in that interactive system. And you had movies options and music options, podcasts, games. It was very interactive and well worth it. Now let's talk about leg room. As you can see, this guy was pretty tall and having a little bit of a fit. Me on the other hand, I'm 5'2". I have plenty of space. At this time, I'd like to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. 
Now, this was a 13-hour non-stop flight. So, yes, we had downloaded some of our own movies, but they also had given us headsets and a blanket to use to enjoy the comforts on the plane. Additionally, they passed out little packets that had this in it. And for a special touch, they took Polaroid pictures and gave it to kids and their families. About two and a half hours into our flight came our first meal and we selected the chicken option. There is a vegan option in case you don't eat meat. Let me just say that this meal from start to finish was excellent, included desserts and everything that you needed and it was actually really really good first time i've ever been on a plane where the food was actually really tasty great job to emirates on this and this was just our first meal after the meal service was over they lowered the lights and we were under the stars and you know exactly what time it was at this point but as life would have it duty did call and so I decided to show you what the bathroom looked like while I was in there. Now I'm a person that is very OCD-ish and don't like using public bathrooms. So I was really hesitant to go, but who can wait 13 hours, right? This is the bathroom, normal size bathroom on a plane, nothing any different. They do have the plug there if you need to plug in for shaving. But I will say that this bathroom was absolutely clean. It smelled fresh every time that I did go in there. They even have some hand lotion in there for you in case you want to just freshen up all together. But the bathroom, although a standard size bathroom on this massive plane was actually very clean and I never felt uncomfortable using it at all. So again, kudos to Emirates on that as well. After a few more hours had passed, they came around with the snack and if you were awake, you got it. It was really hot and really good. I mean, I didn't even have a chance to get hungry on this flight. The food was good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. At this point, I was over it, but we only had two more hours left on this flight. But I was over it and ready to get off. And as you can see, according to the screen, we were almost at our destination. And guess what? It was now time for breakfast food. That's right. So they served us breakfast and this was a cheese omelet with turkey sausage, hash browns, there was a parfait, there was fruit, there was roll, there was water. Once again, it was fantastic. And before long, it was just about time for us to land this plane. Just before getting off, they gave everybody a hot towel to wipe their faces off with. Everybody was up and walking around. And now we could finally open up our windows and see the city of Dubai. We actually were here. It was time to land and we were so super excited about that. You should know the flight cost was about $2,000 round trip, but let me tell you, the experience was worth its weight in gold. And before you know it, we were in the city that never, never, never sleeps, Dubai. Around 9 p.m., we had made it to our hotel. We stayed at a Hampton Inn in a city called Al Sif. Um, and it was right along the Dubai Canal. And so we decided to put our bags down, walk around a little bit, just get a lay of the land, look at some of the amazing boats and dows that were out by the water. Stay tuned for tomorrow. <laughs>